hello hello and we are going to be doing some soft highlighting on these extensions so i hope that everyone can see very well what we're doing here because we are going to be creating this look with our formula 18 high lift color so what i have here is our high lift in pearl and so we always use a scale to measure the color and we are going to be measuring in grams so i'm going to use my color key to make sure that i am getting everything out of this tube well and i'm going to be using my 40 volume my 40 volume is going to allow me to get a nice lift and the pearl is going to allow me to tone the hair at the same time that I'm lifting. So we've got 45 grams in the bowl. Now, 45 grams of high lift to what we're going to put 90 grams of our 40 volume in the bowl. I reset my scale and now I'm going to be adding 90 grams. So it's going to be double the peroxide to the amount of color when you're doing high lift. And we've got it. Now, I'm also going to be adding in my Formula 18 drops because I would like this hair to be respected well throughout this color process. So I'm going to mix this up well and then I'm going to add a few drops of my Formula 18. And I am going to apply this using foils. You want to get a nice creamy mixture going there. And once you add the Formula 18, it actually is going to add that nice creamy finish on this bowl because of the ingredients that are in it. It actually makes your mixture a lot creamier. I'm going to remove my scale because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to grab my favorite 18 drops. Allow me to grab my drops. I do apologize. I think I had them over here in reachable distance.
Okay. I do apologize for the delay. Just going to place a few drops in my bowl. And I'm going to grab my foils. Now, the reason for the foil is it's also going to help with the processing. And foil can allow you to keep the hair separate because we are doing so soft highlights the color that we're going to be creating is going to be a very nice soft blend so we're not going to be highlighting the whole head but we're just going to be creating some soft highlights towards the top and then we're going to add in a few highlights to the extra hair that we're going to be adding to the top of her sewing. And she is going to have some lead out just to give her a more natural blend. So we want to section this off well first. look all the way down we're just going to be creating it more or less halfway up she doesn't really plan on wearing this hair pulled up so that's why we don't need to create that look going all the way down we're going to leave this first row out of it as we're going to be creating a very soft and subtle look she doesn't wear color on her natural hair so we're not going to color these underneath so we're going to be coloring about one bundle of hair worth of highlighting so i'm going to start underneath just so that we can work our way up. So we're going to be working our way from bottom to top. So first we're going to start in this middle section as this is where we're going to place the first foil. Okay, so because we're starting in the middle, this will probably be a little bit lighter. It's going to sit on the hair a little bit longer as well as it's going to have more hair on top of it, which is going to help conduct it a little bit. Um, more heat is going to be taking place there. So we're just going to go with a soft blend. So we're just going to be pulling out a few pieces and we're going to use our foil here and I am going to have to cut it myself because I did not pre-cut my foils. Bumping 
to come across and make these separations on both sides. And again, we just want to make sure that we are moving a little bit quicker. These are the things that you can do when you have an assistant and you can have your assistant help you to pre-cut the foil for you or you can use my, I have a, a foil assistant. Um, it's a tool that I have and it's called the Badass Assistant and I absolutely love it. And this is their foil. So the name of the company is Quality Touch Foil. And they have foils in all colors. Five Shark Coaching. Orange was the perfect color for me to use. And so I'm just going to pre-cut this myself in a few pieces. But yeah, they are an excellent, excellent, excellent company to order things from. They're really nice, too. But they have some pretty cool colors. So whatever your color scheme is to your salon, I'm pretty sure you can match up with to that. Their favorite color, like they do like different holidays. They'll have um, different color sets. Like 4th of July, they have like a red, white, and blue. They have some really good balayage paper and film. So they have lots of things that they can offer you as a colorist as it pertains to making your life easier. Alright, so that's enough to get me started for the moment. I'm going to start on this side as this is a little bit shorter. Alright, so I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to paint these very lightly because again, as I said, this is going to be more underneath and in the rear underneath, it's going to conduct and it'll be turning easily. So we did use 40 volume so that we get a nice highlight. This hair is pretty dark, as you can see. And we don't want to make it light. We just want to lighten it up from where it is. So it's not going to be a drastic change, but it's going to be a nice, soft, subtle change. And the thing about taking a conservative person and giving them a nice, soft, subtle change, rather than giving them something drastic, you want them to ask you to go lighter. You don't want them to say, ooh, do you think this is too bright for me? You want them to feel like, oh, wow, I could do this. Like, this wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's the reaction or the response that you would prefer to have out of them. Than having them say, ooh, this is too light. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work. And you see I'm doing my pieces pretty thin. Again, we're going to do more pieces towards that top rather than have them just be extra chunky when you go in with a more conservative person. You want them to be a little bit softer. That way, again, they're asking you for more. And then they're asking you to subtract. That's how you work a person into something that they never had before. You got to start them off real slow and let them grow gradually. Now, when it comes to color, Formula 18 is my color of choice. And I'm always going to give my clients a Formula 18 during the color process. What this is going to do is going to allow you to maintain the curl pattern because it's not going to compromise it. It's going to allow you to maintain the integrity in the hair. So a lot of times when clients are get me in color with the Formula 18, they're very happy because they're like, ooh, my hair feels so good. Like their hair feels softer than before they got the color service. 
because that formula 18 treatment is really going in there and giving that hair some TLC. So if you're interested in the Formula 18 color class, I'm your girl. Just let me know and we will arrange you to get the whole shebang. Formula 18 is a color line that I was introduced to after I had become a trichologist. And being a master cosmetologist for years, cosmetology, you're more focused on a cosmetic look. As a trichologist, you're more focused on things that are going to be done to the hair that are going to allow the hair and the scalp to have longevity. So you're just more cognizant of harsher ingredients and products and things of that nature. And Formula 18 is very gentle. It's got lots of essential oils and things like that in it. It's got almond oil. It's got safflower oil. It has rosemary. So it's got some really good ingredients that just really allow the hair to be well respected through a color process. That's going to just be, you know, incomparable really to, to too many other things just based off the fact that it's doing so many wonderful things to the hair while you're actually giving it a chemical service at the same time. It's like, that's unheard of. So we're going to leave this row is going to be left out and then I'm going to go up to the next row. this to be nice and soft and subtle so I'm going to separate these hairs out and then I'm going to clip them When you're creating nice, soft, subtle highlights, you don't want to take them too chunky. You don't want the hair to be too thick. You want it to be more of a blend. So just creating more of a blended look. It's going to give it more of a natural appearance. blended together and with high lift colors you typically let it process for about 45 minutes so of course we're not going to stay on here for the processing time but when we take it down we will do the reveal and we will show you the finished look I'm also going to have a video where I'm going to actually show the install of this particular unit on a client so that way we are able to show you exactly what it looks like what that actual finish is So yes, when you're applying your foils, you don't want hair in the creases of where you're folding the foil at. There should be no hair in there. So we've got that row done. So now we do want to come in here. Like I said, we want this to be nice and soft. So we want to have a whole row that does not have any color on it. And then we want to come back to the next row and apply the color there. 
because again, we're applying this very nice and softly. So I'll just clip that out of the way. Now, for all those that are wondering what color highlights we're doing, because I'm sorry I did not share in the beginning, it's going to be more of a caramel brown. That's what I'm going to call it. So it's going to be like a really dark blonde. It's going to be somewhere maybe in the level six family. Because you see how dark this hair network works and what it is. Just depending. Some pieces may lighten up more to a level seven family. But it's going to have a toner built into this high lift color. Which is going to accommodate for the hair not being too brassy. So it's going to have that caramel golden finish to it. Now, one thing that is important to remember is to use a timer. You want to make sure when you're doing color, you use a scale and you use a timer. Because that's always going to help you in the long run. And after you use your scale and your timer, also make notes in the, for the client. Like, if you use an online booking system, your system should have a place where it has your clients formulas stored and different notes of things that you've done in their hair such as chemicals and things like that that way you don't have to try to guess what you did you can write down the formula so this formula here is our high lift pearl and we did 45 grams of that and then we did 90 grams of our 40 volume and then we're applying it in foil so that's what i would put in my notes for her and I would make note to say that that's what I did to the extensions. And make note of saying that these extensions, they're about a level three. So, if I were to purchase extensions for her in the future, and the extensions were at about a level three or a level four, I know I would come in with this same formula and give her the exact same thing without having to question myself too much or take too much time trying to make sure I match it exactly to what I did before. Time is money, people, and we want to really remember that. Sometimes we get away from those little things, so we need those little reminders. So this is that little friendly reminder. So as you can see, this is my last piece of foil, so I need some more. If you are not as comfortable with highlights or using foils, we are going to have some really, really good color classes. We're going to help you to learn how to create formulas. We're going to teach you how to use some really good placement so that you can get some more creativity out of the looks that you give your clients. Because when we are talking about color, like the conversation can almost never end. I love color because color is the service that you can literally provide to everybody. Doesn't matter. Well, nowadays, I mean, just pay attention. Even kids are getting color. So there's so much that you can do with color. And I think that's where I just really 
ran with it because it's like, what can't you do with color? You can really create something for everybody, for your conservatives, for your wild child, for your elderly, for your tweens and teens. I mean, everybody can have fun with color. But you can also do some serious damage, which is why you want to make sure that you truly educate yourself on what you're doing when you're covering someone's hair. Because there's so many times now I hear people say like, oh, I can't get color. Color broke my hair off. Or they're scared to get color because they know someone else who did and the color just really tore their hair up. So you got to respect the hair fiber when you're performing a service. And Formula 18 allows me to do that. Even when I'm pushing the envelopes, I'm able to still respect the hair fibers. So this is the last piece that I'm going to do on the top. I'm going to do a little bit on the side as we do want to create just a little bit of some softening around her face as well. And then my piece that I have left over, I'm going to apply some color on that too. So on the top here where this lace is, that's going to get cut off when I'm doing her hair. Um, that's going to be where her lead out is going to be as well as there's still going to be some braids up there where I am going to be um, stitching the additional hair that I'm going to be coloring as well to go on top. That's how we're going to give her a very natural look, but create a shorter salon experience because we have 90% of the hair already connected to this cap. And so we only will have 10% of the hair. That's not on the cap that I need to be sewn. And then we'll sew the cap onto the foundational braiding that we'll be giving her. You just have to think when someone purchases hair extensions, they want you to take care of it. Sometimes they don't know that they do because they're like, oh, well, it's not my hair, it's okay. But if you take good care of their hair extensions and they get to last really well, they will truly appreciate you. So I am going to move this little piece out the way. I'm just going to use my clip here and clip this over and create some soft lights in here. So I am going to start all the way underneath because, again, I want that shading around her face. So I'm going to place this hair to hold. I love this clip because it's like a double prong clip. So I'm going to hold all of this out of the way for the underneath. And then I'm going to hold this out of the way in the top part of the clip. which is going to allow me to go ahead and put in the highlights here. And notice how I'm leaving a little piece on the end because when I come into that top part, it's gonna allow me to cover up that with some more color. So we really wanna make it nice, soft highlights. So we're doing them thinner around the face.
I truly appreciate you for logging in with me in my videos. And I love to hear your feedback. So please make sure that you are sharing your feedback with me. You can always email me. And let me know what you guys want to learn more of, what you want more details on, what information you find to be the most valuable. And just let me know like how you feel about the information that I've shared thus far too. So I'm going to come in here and pick up some really thin pieces because I don't want to create too much back to back. But again, I want to create a little bit more dimension around the face. Let me try this again. going to be picking up some really small pieces. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. to that other little strip that we have left. And what we have on here now is about a bundle and a half. So we have about another half a bundle that's not on here that we may or may not use the entire other half of the bundle, but we do want to make sure that um, if we need it, because we're just going to be going on top. So it's going to be what's going to be used for the blending with her natural hair. Now her natural hair does not have any color on it. So it is going to be a darker at the scalp and then just get a little bit lighter towards the ends effect. Cause we're not gonna color her natural hair either for this. And then I start. So we need about hmm, maybe four more pieces of four. Let's see, let's do five or six. Let's do six more. And then six more pieces of four. We were discussing this. She said, um, what is my 2023 look going to be? And I said, that is a good question. We need to come up with a new look for 2023. And so she's never done the color before. And so 
you definitely knew you wanted to add the color in for 2023. She was willing to go there. She was willing to go there. But she wasn't willing to jump in the deep end. And I can respect that. Because again, like I said, you don't want them to jump in the deep end and then be so shocked with the person in the mirror that they immediately want you to erase it. And of course, everybody thinks that black is the eraser. So it's like, no, we're not going to do that. But she was ready. She was ready. So here we are, giving her something nice and subtle for 2023. You can see that pearl tone really starting to take effect too with the bowl. It's always good to make sure that the hair is well saturated. Foil is going to help the processing as well as it's going to create a little bit of heat for you as well as separate the hairs. So I'm going to let you guys see the back. It's not going to be too much of a change back there, but you may see a little something. So these are the first foils that we placed in. And we're just checking them to see how they're doing, even though they've got lots more time to go for processing. So we know they're not ready, but we just want to see what the processing is looking like so far. And it's not much. I can see a slight change, but it's not a drastic change. Although I can tell it's going to be exactly the change that we want it to be. Here's our other half of the bundle. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it and I'm just going to sit it up here on top of this head. And I'm going to use my to hold it in place. Actually, I'm going to use some new glue. So I'm going to take and place a needle on this end. And I'm going to place the needle on this end. And then I'm going to bring this hair around here and get two more needles. And I'm just using the needles to hold the hair in place because I'm going to place foils on them the same way I just did with the rest of the hair. Just want to make sure that I'm still creating that nice, soft, subtle highlighting effect. 
And I only have four more of my foils, but I think I'm going to need just a few more than four. And again, I'm going to start from the bottom, so I'm going to flip this hair over. I'm going to start from this bottom section here. And with this, I'm going to do a little bit more than what I did in the rest of the hair. Because again, this is going to be on top. So let me take, I think I have three of these. I don't think I'm going to do them. Well, I'll do six. So I'll do three more. Two and three. That is pretty complete. It was a little bit more hair than I was paying attention to. Because I'm not going to do these very close together. I'm going to spread them out just a tad. And my processing time again is going to be 45 minutes for this high lift color. And that's about a traditional timing for high lift color. And again, once it's finished processing, all we're going to need to do is shampoo, condition, and place her under the dryer for drying because. This high lift actually has a built-in toner, so we won't have to come in and tone it with anything. So I'm going to be doing these even lighter because I'm not going in and like skipping a row or anything like that because it's going to be more of this. I'm going to do a little less hair in the strands. Because again, we're going for a more conservative look even though we are giving her some color. We're just not going for that drastic highlighted look. This is the color that a lot of people would use for a low light, but this is going to be her highlight. And I just didn't have enough wig pins to use as my wig pins are in my salon and this is my coaching space and so I guess I need another box of wig pins for the coaching space now with these canvas heads they come in different sizes too but the traditional size for you to use is a 22 so that's the size that I have here 22 is about an average head size. A 21 is going to be a little bit small, so if a client brings you a unit and things like that, it's going to be a little too small for you to be able to comfortably sit the average unit on. A 23 is going to be large. That's going to be a larger size, so it's a size canvas head that you might want to have for those that have a larger circumference. Sometimes you work on a larger circumference because you want to make sure that everything is stretched out well. But 22 is ideal. That's your ideal size to use. I 
again, I mentioned if you guys want to email me, my email address is going to be A as in Apple, S as in Sam, H as in Harry, A as in Apple, S as in Sam, coaching, that's C as in Charlie, O as in Orm, A as in Apple, C as in Charlie, H as in Hot, I as in Igloo, A as in Nancy, G as in Go, at gmail.com. and light, nice and light. Looks like we're going to need maybe two more pieces of foil. It just needs to be nice and soft, nice and soft. And having everything prepped well before a client gets there just really shows her that you're serious about your business. She can go ahead and take you out of the category of having to work. Oftentimes, I feel like when clients make an appointment with a stylist, especially for certain services that include extensions, like they just don't know what to expect and they're really nervous. And there's just so many people that will waste your time, show up late, be unprofessional, but yet they know that they have to pay good money for the service that when you can show up ready, and looking like you've been waiting for them all day, they can just really, really appreciate that. When they feel like they actually are being appreciated as a client, they are going to, you know, spread the word. And that's what you want. You want them to spread the word. You want that word to spread far and wide. Your reputation is going to do great things for you, especially in the world of referrals. Because clients like to brag on their stylists. So let's give them a reason to brag on us. So yeah, I'm going to do just two more. And I think two more would be more than enough. And just because I said two, and I keep on needing more than what I said, I'm going to do three. All right. So we got three more foils going here. doing too many too close together. So again, I'm going really, really light. Color is just one of my very fun things to do. I just don't ever have a, a memory of not liking it. So far, I've been coloring for many, many years. I know a lot of times people shy away from it. 
within the black salons color has often been something that wasn't necessarily focused on a lot not as far as just really getting into the color techniques and education but i'm glad to see that more stylists are really getting into their color services and really just learning how to make sure they perform those color services well on their clients because oftentimes especially natural hair clients are going to be very afraid of color they just want to make sure that their hair is not going to break off and be damaged and i feel like that's how all of us stylists should really be about all of our clients like we shouldn't be so ready to do things that are damaging to their hair even if they're requesting it like we have to remind ourselves why we're the professional so in true fashion of me i want one more foil just one more So this is going to be my last foil. She's going to process for 45 minutes. We are going to shampoo and we are going to place this um, mannequin in the dryer to dry. So we're going to shampoo and condition her using our Formula 18 Color Keeper Shampoo. And then we are going to sit the mannequin head under the dryer. To allow the hair to dry and her style is going to be a nice soft style with a loose curl very loose curl not a tight curl at all it's going to have more body less curl and more body I apologize for that. I just lost a phone charge to a puppy. It was my best phone charge for two. All you gotta do is be a little bit distracted. They really are like kids, you know. All right. So, in the next video, we will show you exactly how this turned out. Thanks for watching.